Hey, what's up, guys? Light gun lovers. Yeah, update four for the beast light gun, two terabyte. Also on the 16 terabyte. Yes, because the two terabyte uh, beast light gun share the same feature, game, etc. on the 16 terabyte. So this video is good for the two terabyte and on the 16 terabyte. All right. So let's jump in. We have a ton to talk about. Uh, I want to talk about the new retro shooter uh, MX24, some fix for the Time Crisis 5 on the retro shooter, uh, how to set your um, sensor. I have a few questions about sensor because uh, people doesn't know uh, you can play on 77 inches and uh, big TV. Uh, some new game fix on the main, uh, new apps on the wheel, uh, the new Mamooka HD, new logo, uh, the third and second screen, uh, what else? Uh, that Storm Pilot, how to fix it, the new end tracks I, I just uh, fixed, Mario Kart. A uh, new game on the Techno Pirate, a ton of new game on the PC game. Um, my God, so much. I did update the Demio Shooter. Uh, PS1, new game. Uh, the PS2 also. Anyway, so this update will be uh, available uh, today. We are the 11. I know some people, they ask me on this call, when is the update? Uh, okay, the update, when I do the video, usually it's available, okay? Usually, just uh, listen the video because sometimes uh, I make the, the update available sooner because usually it's the 15. I know it's confusing, but usually it's for Patreon, it's the 15 of the month for Patreon and for free user, it's two weeks after the first of the next month. But because uh, some people, they want the uh, Walking Dead uh, and all the new games, so it's available for Patreon. Now you can update it and play tonight your uh, Walking Dead. For this video, I start with the uh, Retro Shooter Gun. By the way, you can buy um, uh, this is the blue one. You can buy gun skin on Amazon. It's very cool. I choose the Deadpool. You can, uh, it's very easy. What I did, I, you use a hot gun. So you put, you cut it, you put your uh, vinyl, and with the uh, hair dryer may, may work. You don't need that much uh, heat. But just to, after when it's heat, you can, you know, make it perfectly uh, fit the gun. So that's a retro shooter modified with gun, um, uh, gun skin. Also order on Amazon, uh, not Amazon, uh, Etsy. There is a extender. So the gun looks like a mini SMG or stuff like that. It's an extender so you can uh, uh, handle it with your uh, shoulder. So I may uh, show it next month. All right, let's jump on the update. Um, all emulators are up to date. I always update all the emulators uh, that run all the games are up to date. Also, let's boot the... Uh, I think the gun... Wait a second. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about the, uh, the new MX-24. Uh, Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. I'm going to change gun. Because I have um, a gun that looks exactly like the MX-24. It's, it's from uh, Gunfire R. So you will have an ID. But then, uh, I think you can reserve... Uh, that's the model, that's the MX-24, but this one it's not from a uh, retro shooter. But the retro shooter, if you uh, go fast, you can order it or pre-order it before the end of April, okay? 
uh, they will have a three or four button here. Uh, but what is cool is they, they're going to have the coin, the start, and the escape. So any techno pirate or PC game and some other emulator, you can quit the game uh, if you hold it for uh, two or three seconds. Uh, they will have also, like they have on the minigun, the trigger to switch single shot and uh, uh, single shot and automatic. The trigger, the, the middle mouse, middle, that's going to be also middle mouse and your right uh, reload here. And also, they will have a, a 24 volt recoil right here, and there's gonna be a rod inside that's gonna push the shoulder, so the experience will be really great. I saw some video and it's amazing. Yeah, so this one, it's a gunfire R. I plug it on the 24 volt and it works. But, uh, it's amazing. So if you're interested on the new retro shooter, it's available uh, on their store uh, for pre-order before um, end of uh, April. Amazing. Also, uh, we work uh, to make uh, the retro shooter gun to work on Maymooker. It's not official, but we try to make it work uh, with Maymooker. So it's going to be badass. Uh, okay, talking about retro shooter. The gun works on any game, okay? The retro shooter works on all the, the beast game I have. I have uh, 437 now. Retro shooter works on all games. The only game that I have a problem is Time Crisis 5. And the reason is Time Crisis 5 used two pedal, all right? He used the right. When you push here, you use the right and you use the middle. But the problem we have now on the retro shooter is when you hold the middle, the left side joystick, when you press it, if you hold it for two or three seconds, it changed the, uh, the sequence of the recoil. That's the only problem. So when you play Time Crisis 5, you swap right, you swap left, and you change the recoil, so that's not good. So what I propose is you buy um, any external uh, USB pedal, like this one is from Amazon, it's a really cheap, like 20 bucks pedal. You can set as a right click mouse and middle mouse, so you're not gonna change the recoil, because the pedal from the retro shooter do not work as two pedals for player one. Uh, one pedal is for gun one and the other uh, pedal is for gun two, okay? It works if you change it in Techno Pirate and stuff like that manually, but the, my Time Crisis doesn't run on Techno Pirate. It's a PC game version. That's why it's a problem. And there is a few reasons why I choose the PC. But uh, if you have any pedal, if you buy any pedal on Amazon, or if you have already have a Sendon pedal, or a Raymond uh, RPEG electronic pedal, uh, you can set easily a pedal for Time Crisis. Anyway, Time Crisis is better to play with a real pedal. So that's the, the fix for the retro shooter pedal for Time Crisis uh, uh, 5. Okay, let's continue talking about retro shooter. A few people says, uh, oh, I have a 77 inches. I want to buy a drive. I have a retro shooter. Does it gonna work on a 77 inches or 83? Maybe higher. Uh, I didn't test higher than 83 inches, but that's pretty big. The deal with retro shooter, the sensor, okay? Usually you put one sensor on the right side you put one sensor on the left side. With the new kit, you have one below and one uh, below right and left, okay? The deal is about your distance, okay? If you have a big TV first, you make sure you have the, the new lens, the fisheye, very important. So when you, you're looking at the screen, the gun will see larger TV. 
The deal is very simple, guys. The lens from where you are sitting at, you need to see the two right and left lens to work. Because if you move right, let's say I'm shooting there, and it doesn't see the left, that's a problem, it, it will lose tracking, all right? So you have two solutions when you, you, you set your uh, lead, uh, is to go further, right? But there is a limit. The other solution, what I did is, you put your lead, you test it as uh, the distance you wanna play. If it doesn't work, just put them, just put them closer to the TV, it's still gonna work until you're not gonna lose the tracking. That's it. And that's a 77 inches and see the distance, it's, not, it's about a feet from the side and it works, all right? So just test it and if it do doesn't work, just put it a little bit closer and at, what, at one point it's gonna work. And it works on a 83 inches also, okay? So that's good news. Retro Shooter works on any game, uh, works perfectly on big TV. And with the new uh, MX24, man, that's gonna be badass. Kick-ass recoil, full button and everything. I did order mine and I will show a video when I'm gonna receive it. Uh, for people, before doing the sink recovery, before doing the sink recovery, I did add the back upper last month. Back upper, what it does if you go to apps, can you see? Yeah, if you go to apps, before doing your monthly update, I uh, should have back upper somewhere, just before the sink recovery. If you open back upper, what it does now, if you change anything on the main configuration, for some reason you change some, uh, you didn't like the way the, the button is mapped or something, and you change something in main, all the config will be back up from the, this back upper before sync recovery. So you're not gonna lose your uh, configuration. Also this back upper, will back up all the Techno Pirate. If you change something in Techno Pirate, the uh, profile uh, configuration, it will back up it. It do a backup on your C drive, you do sync recovery, and, and mostly any emulator configuration, uh, Techno Pirate and main will be back up. So we're not gonna lose any uh, modification, okay? That's for people that like modif modify uh, files and stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna close it from the, uh, the taskbar. Uh, gun latency, I did add on the wheel. Um, here, just for fun, there is a gun latency. This is a tool, it's not a professional tool, but it's a tool to check your latency for your mouse, for your retro shooter, gun for IR, blend com, all the gun you're gonna have, you can compare. I use it to compare, okay? The result is not 100% accurate because some people say uh, it's, uh, it's a web browser, let's boot it. It's a web browser uh, latency tools, see? Okay? But you can compare all your gun and check your uh, USB configuration and stuff like that. So you can test if it run better from your US, another USB or if you did add an extender USB uh, or stuff like that. And the other one is to test your uh, accuracy. So what it's gonna do, if you press start, you need to shoot all the red dot very fast, all right? And at the end of the result, it's gonna give you a score, okay? It's not long, see, that's it. Target, 
da 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 is give you some. It's just for fun if you need it. It's tool to uh, compare stuff. So that's the new tool. What's new on this? Uh, okay, so now we have on the tools we have the backup maker. So to back up any profile you change on Technoparrot and MAME uh, before Syncovery, you have your uh, monthly update uh, Syncovery. You can change the team, hyperspin, R10. Oh, talking about team, I removed the annoying music on the background uh, from the hyperspin and next uh, team. Uh, there was a video playing uh, uh, music and it was really annoying. I find it cool at, at start, but some people find it annoying and I agree. So there is no more when you scroll, when you scroll ga uh, scrolling games. You will hear the video of the game, but you will not hear the, uh, the annoying uh, background gun uh, video. I remove it, all right? Uh, no mouse C. No mouse C is very simple. It will hide your mouse. If for some reason uh, on Wii game or PC game, it's very rare, but you need to remove the uh, mouse cursor. You, remove, you just click that and the mouse is going to be it's going to disappear, okay? You can enable crosshair. Instead of hiding your mouse, you can change your mouse as a crosshair. Uh, and re-enable cursor, the option is right there, okay? Memooker, now, uh, I did install last month the Memooker HD, okay? What the uh, Memooker does is on 160 game, main techno pirate PC game, Memooker, what it does, he provide a realistic, um, realistic recoil on game. So if you shoot, if you shoot one bullet, it's gonna recoil one shot. If you run uh, out of ammo, it will stop. So it's really realistic. But the Memooker HD, I did add uh, last month, it works around on eight or 10 games. And the best game to test it is Jurassic Park on the Maymooker, uh, on the Techno Pirate. And when you jump on the Titan, if you have a gun for an hour, uh, by the way, Maymooker for now only works on gun for an hour. But with the new Maymooker HD, it will give you a, a better realistic. Like if the gun go like, your, your recoils go like crazy, okay? It's more realistic. And now, when you're going to boot this Memooker, okay, when you boot this Memooker, at the same time, it will boot the Memooker HD. But you need to read, uh, you need to do the manual installation. It's an optional installation, okay? So you go to uh, Lightgun. Uh, let's go back to D drive. Go to D drive, Lightgun. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So the drive light gun, uh, you will see Memooker HD install. Everything is explained here, how to install. Uh, and after that, when you boot Memooker, it will boot automatically. So if you check now, I set it. Mine is set to boot uh, on PC boot. Can I zoom? OK, see? My Memooker and Memooker HD boot at the same time. I'm going to open the window. The yellow arrow is yellow now because it's waiting for a game. So you're going to have the... When um, Memooker will boot HD, you will have an arrow and you will have a Node.js running, okay, at the same time. So if you want Memooker and Memooker HD, uh, you need to see this green logo at boot, mean it's gonna work, and uh, the arrow there. So when the game's gonna boot, the arrow will turn green, mean it's hook to the game. So Memooker HD and Memooker need to hook to the game. <laughs> but it's incredible. It's really, really incredible. I can show you uh, if you want on the... Uh, I don't remember if I did show the... 
Memooker HD, but if you boot Techno Pirate um, Jurassic Park, it's pretty amazing. I'm going to zoom out so you're going to see. Sorry about that. So let's boot. Um, and if it works, the new Retro Shooter MX24 should work, if it works. It's a work in progress. It's not officially uh, supporting Maymooker, but imagine if the Retro Shooter works, it's going to be a blast. Where's my uh, Jurass? Ah, it should be, ah, right there. Okay, now I'm using my uh, Gunfire R. 24 volt recoil and you will see uh, at the beginning of the stage one when it's going to grab the uh, titan gun the recoil is going to run like crazy but it's not running like crazy for nothing it's just because the titan is a high speed uh, uh, rifle because if you're running just my moker on those type of uh, fast pace, uh, pace uh, gun, the recoil will go like tack, 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 tack. But if the gun goes fast with Memoco HD, it goes like tack, 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 tack. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. So now I'm running Memoco and Memoco HD, okay, on supporting game. It works on Time Crisis 5, Jurassic Park, a few House of the Dead. It's very limited for now. I'm waiting for an update. So I'm, I'm choosing the chaos, this one. It's not stage one, it's stage two, I guess. Okay, see? Look, the Titan is right there, look. It's amazing. So Maymoka was already a badass, realistic recoil. Sync with Gunfire R. But with Memoka HD, he gave another, uh, another example. The, uh, when the gun, it's not a real gun, it's a laser or uh, like this one that I'm going to shoot. Uh, uh, usually it's the, the rumble. It's gonna See now it's a, it's a low space. Yeah, this one. But usually it's the rumble, all right? So what I did, because uh, Raymond they didn't ship me this with a rumble, I ordered some um, uh, rumble kit I'm gonna add to those guns. Just because Memoker HD now set those laser gun or froze gun as a rumble, it makes sense. It's not a, it's not a ammo gun, it's a laser. So when it's gonna be the laser, the the rumble it's gonna rumble the gun so are there a few i'm gonna add them all right um oh yeah i did change some logo on the wheel i thought i'm gonna show you all the new games i changed some logo uh i did change some logo oh yeah all the Techno Parrot now, it's not the round, it's the clear logo. I changed a few logo uh, around the system to make it look uh, nicer uh, on a few system. Oh, Atomy Swave change. See, it was the uh, orange and uh, yellow. Now it's the clear, looks better. Uh, I changed it on, I don't remember them all, but a few systems changed, I changed the logo. Oh my God, I, I, I reach, I rechanged the Sega Master, uh, Sega Model 2 again. <laughs> it's a new setup, Sega Model 2 now, uh, and Sega Model 3, brand new, um, 
brand new ROM set and setting and emulator. All right. I know I did change a, f a few times on the past, but this one works amazing now. Sega Model 2 and Sega Model 3, fresh uh, ROM set and new emulator. So all games should work full screen with HD. Uh, Sega Model 2 and Sega Model 3 are HD. Um, they look amazing. Uh, what else on the update? I didn't finish, I have a few stuff. Uh, main gun, main screen, one, two, three, setting is fixed. Oh, yeah. If you did change the, uh, uh, the main for gun, the screen one, two, three, it didn't work. Uh, I fix it. If you go to uh, uh, wiki, uh, fix main gun advance, the setting, because it, for people that have uh, two screen and three screen, Sometimes main, if you boot like, for this example, I have two screen. So it's possible that main will boot on the first screen or second, second screen. It just depends how your window set your uh, first as, as first and second as second. And sometimes it's not that way. Sometimes your first is second and your second is first. So to fix that, I have a uh, bad files uh, swap screen display uh, to one, to two, to three are automatic. But it works, the, the path was not set, so now it works. Uh, same thing for the regular main, you can change it um, for the regular main. Uh, oh, X-Men on the regular, the Xbox uh, main is fixed. The Xbox controller has been uh, remapped for the game X-Men on the main for Xbox. Uh, this is not... Wait a second. Okay, Dead Storm, I fix. Uh, Dead Storm Pirate, the new shooter hook, so the player one and two control will work, okay? Now you can play Dead Storm uh, with player one and two, okay? And to turn the wheel, the way set, the only time you need a keyboard, sorry about that, but you need to press the arrow on your keyboard. Or if you, um, if you have a gunfire R with arrow, you just press the, uh, the D-pad. Uh, I think it's left, but try to right, but uh, you can turn the wheel with the uh, arrow on gun for IR. Or uh, it should work on the retro shooter, same thing, that's an arrow. You can push here for the, to turn the wheel in that storm power, power. okay? To fix uh, those games, that storm power, uh, time crisis, and um, what's the other? I'm going to show you. Because you just need to empty the cache and tell the new shooter to rebuild the cache, okay? So you go on PS3 disk 377. Yeah, the fix for Dark Escape 4D, Deathstorm Pirate, and Cellar Zombie. This is three game, okay? They are, uh, everything is explained on the wiki and on my Discord, the path and everything. The only thing you need to do is empty the cache on every uh, single one. See the cache? You empty the cache. Whoop, my gun is pointing. Uh, wait a second. So you empty the cache for those three games. That's Storm Pirate uh, and Seller Zombie. You go in cache, you delete everything. You boot each game just one time. To the when the game start and you close it okay and third step is to go to light gun boot uh, uh, the new shooter 
you go to RPC S3 system 357 and see the tree game I was talking about. It's right there. Okay. So you pat, uh, you, uh, it's going to fix the, the, those three games to work on your system. So you press the storm, it's going to ask you where's the game, and it's going to be success. You do that for Dark Escape and Settler Zombie. That's it. After you reboot the game, and uh, Dead Storm Power, Parrot will work with two guns, uh, and the wheel, you need to scroll the D-pad on your gun, or if you have only a three-button gun, you use the uh, keyboard just for the, uh, the, the wheel. You need to spin a wheel for uh, 10 seconds, but it's fixed. Everything I'm talking about, about fix, it's in the uh, Discord uh, light gun section, uh, game fi light gun uh, fix, all right? So everything works. It's just I cannot provide my own cache. You need to build a cache from your own PC. That's the only problem with those games, you know? Because people say, yeah, but just fix it and uh, ship the drive. I cannot, okay? My PC is not the same uh, profile, doesn't have the same GPU as your, uh, as your system, okay? That's the problem. If you're running the game from my cache, it may work or may not work. It's going to be a, a problem. All right. Oh, I removed. It was uh, when I start building my drive. It was. Um, I didn't know which version to choose uh, from Techno Pirate or PC version. I have a few games uh, at the beginning, like Tomb Raider, uh, uh, Rabbid, uh, Time Crisis 5. Uh, a few games, you can run it on the PC um, Arcade Gunner section or the Techno Pirate. And every month, I choose, I say, okay, Tomb Raider works really great on the PC version, so I remove the Techno Pirate and so on. And this month, what I did, I removed the uh, Gaia Attack 4 uh, double version, PC and Techno Pirate. So there is only one version for Gaia Attack 4, only one version for Castlevania, Friction, PC version, only one uh, version, and Block, uh, Block King something, only one version, okay? So I decide which version I keep. Uh, now we talk about the end track. Uh, the end track works if you only buy Wait, I'm going to show you. If you have a big TV, bigger than a 30 something, I don't know if he's going to see, because they, don't, they do not provide any case. But it's a freaking long bar, look at that. Okay, that's the super bar. Uh, it's not sold from M-Track directly. You need to search. I have the link on my Discord. But this bar, I guarantee, for M-Track, will work on a 70, uh, up to 100 inches TV, okay? That's what this is. I tested on my 83 and 77, it works. And this says this bar frame track works up to 100 inch. So that's really, really cool. Um. Okay, I, I really works uh, on the main side. Most of the game on the main uh, gun did work, but I did have a list for around 15 main games for some reason that I need to fix, rearrange the aim, some button didn't work and so on. So I really, really worked hard uh, this month to fix. First, I remove a few games that doesn't work on main. I remove them for now until I find a fix. And the rest, I did fix around 12 games uh, on the main. Cool. So I recalibrate inside the game some of the, I recalibrate uh, a few games inside the game. Uh, I don't remember all the, do I have the list? 
let me scroll down. Oh uh, yeah, Beastbuster, I fixed it. Uh, I think Big Buck, one of the Big Bucks was fixed. Uh, Carnival was already fixed. I tried to remember. Uh, oh, Revolution X, I remember, I did fix it. It didn't, oh yeah. And there is 10 game I did uh, really fix for real that it wasn't boot or really doesn't work. Uh, like uh, Evolution X. Uh, invasion. Jurassic Park, I did my best to fix it because this game is not a real light gun game. It's a joystick game. But uh, it's better than ever. Laser Ghost, I think I fixed it. Um, Operation Wolf 3 is, is fixed. Uh, I passed some, but... Uh, oh, Revolution uh, X works now. It boots. One of the steel gunner, I think it's the two. Yeah. The aim, everything is fixed. Uh, sharpshooter? No, not this one. Anyway, I missed some, but there is a ton. Around 16 games I fixed. And uh, so now all the uh, main game should run uh, are at their best, all right? So very proud of the main collection. And I think I have 10 games on the side that doesn't appear that maybe they're never going to work. Or uh, if I find a fix, I will add them. But there is 85 uh, main games. I think when I start, I did have 95, 91, 92, I don't know. But I remove, it makes sense, I remove the game that doesn't work. So every game you see on my beast, the uh, 437 works, all right? If it doesn't work, I remove it. Ah, the Cinch 2. So I did, uh, so Sega Model 2, it's a brand new, uh, brand new emulator, the latest version with HD pack, all, all test and everything. Sega Model 3, same story. And I did the same for um, the Cinch 2, running uh, Hipsis. So all those games, they have the HD pack now, okay? But when I say HD, it's the HD for the time, okay? It's not HD 4K, uh, okay? <coughs> but it looks freaking better than uh, the original. I can tell you. So all those games uh, run on the latest uh, emulator and with the uh, HD pack. Okay, let's boot one. See the video now? And you have the bezel and everything. So this emulator, oh yeah, it looks better. Yeah, you don't see the, um, the pixel square, yeah. It looks even the loading screen it looks better look at that yeah so this system was optimized Cinch 2 Cinch 2 is a mix of American laser uh, Daphne and what's the other one I always forget American laser Daphne and another laser company I look at that yeah it looks looks really really better compared to the old setup I did have yeah, it's night ending. Oh, I fixed also when you quit the game, it doesn't quit the Retro Beast. I fixed that. If you, some of you did boot some uh, Singe 2, when you quit the game, like I'm going to do, see, you come back to Retro Beast. Yeah, good job, Chris. <laughs> um, oh, let's go on the uh, PC game. PC game, people are confused because they don't know where they are. It's at the beginning. Arcade Gunner. I should change uh, the name. Arcade Gunner is the PC game version. And there is a ton of new game. Uh, Bio Crisis. This one is a Pixel uh, Crisis game. Very cool. Bio Crisis 2. That's a new game. Uh, this one is a demo, by the way. Uh, oh, it's not right. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a demo because it's not uh, it's not out yet. It's uh, the Bio Crisis 2. When I'm gonna have the full game, I'm gonna add it. Uh, Blendcom, uh, Blunder Busted. That's a beta version. Um, Denga Rampa. What's that? Denga Rampa. Oh yeah, that's the the this one. Yeah, that's a new game. It's a mean uh, bear, whatever. Uh, <laughs> very weird Japanese game, but hey, it's a new PC game. Die to Survive demo. Where is that? This one. This one is not released yet. It's a de uh, demo. Uh, Die to Survive. Hammer head. Where's the hammer head? That's a new. That's an old game, okay? That's a really, really old game, okay? Looks like a kid uh, game. It's a hammer, okay? Every time you shoot, it's a hammer. Don't ask any question. But I added. It's really, really old, but hey, if you have kids, it can be fun. Uh, House of the Bread. Not the dead, but House of the Bread. This one. It's like a pixel uh, game. That's a new game. Uh, Martian, Martian Panic. This one, it's a new game, the PC version of Martian Panic. So cool. That's the PC, that's not the Techno Pirate. I'm gonna show you the Techno Pirate after. Okay, PS2. Man, I did update a ton of emulator this month. Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, Sense 2, and uh, PS2 has been reworked from scratch. Uh, it's a new emulator that works with Memooker and the Emule Shooter, and with HD Pack, and also I upscale the emulator. Okay? So uh, let's boot the first one Dino Stalker. So straight pipe from the emulator, the gun, uh, if you have Memooker uh, running, and a gunfire R, you will have realistic recoil. See now I'm shooting, there is no, no bullets, because there is no bullets. So I shoot, that's the start. Yeah, we will really work R on this PS2 because it was some uh, nightmare set setting and stuff like that, but everything, I have nine games, HD, full screen, and Memooka wor works on the background, right? Oh man, look at that, that's freaking HD. For a game that was released in a uh, long time ago. That's really amazing. Yeah, I need to shoot outside of the screen to reload for this game. So Time Crisis, Time Crisis 2 looks incredible. Incredible. Time Crisis 2, Time Crisis 3. I also removed the, uh, this game, the smoke, because this game has a behavior that when you play the uh, ocean area, there is a kind of, a, not a smoke, but the steam from the water. I remove it, it's a modded version of the game. So now it's uh, nice and clear. I can show you. Yeah, every game has been work. Uh, each game to set them Take the time to set it and everything. Apply the HD. Of course, the HD doesn't apply on the cutscene. Okay. Cutscene always look uh, uh, SD, not HD. Uh, one player. Stage one. I think that's the ocean. Yeah, another cutscene. See, looks pixelized. 
Yeah, that's the ocean. It's a single shot for single shot. Yeah. So uh, look at that. That's amazing. Looks great. For a PS2 game, it looks really, really great. Uh, okay, the new shooter, I did update it to the latest version. Because when you buy my drive, you have all the new goodies, the new game, the new feature, uh, the latest version of the emulator and games. And the new shooter has been updated with a ton of uh, bug fix and compatibility. Um, oh, I did add uh, two. And look how fast the game I quit. I just press it and it quit in two seconds. Uh, let's jump on the um, PS1. I did add two games. Oh, thank Chris. Oh, yeah, no, no. Sorry, it's the pedal. For some reason, I forgot to add the... Uh, for people that have pedal, they want to play with their pedal and gun, I did create a collection, right? So now you have the Tank Chris's uh, main, Tank Chris's uh, PS3, Tank Chris's 2 uh, PlayStation 2, Tank Chris's 5 PC version, Tank Crisis 4, uh, PS3, Tank Crisis uh, 3, oh, that's the PS1, this one is the PS2 version, and the PS1, Tank Crisis Project, Project Titan, right, PS2, and Tank Crisis PlayStation 1. I forgot to add them on the, the pedal section, my bad. Oh, I fixed the Jurassic Park. Uh, Jurassic Park, what did happen? I don't know why, that's a behavior. Uh, I try to remember. It's one member on this card, it says, when I'm reloading, I'm shooting a grenade, and I say, oh, yeah, that's true. So on the Techno Pirate for Jurassic, but the problem is on the Techno Pirate, the bomb, the bomb was set to middle click, right? But for some reason, because I booted with the new shooter, it, it was a weird confusion. I don't know exactly why, but when you were reloading, uh, it was throwing a bomb. So anyway, I fixed it. I changed uh, some button in Techno Pirate. So now the, the bomb is just shoot when you click on the bomb. Makes sense. Uh, yes, I removed the annoying background Kanye West music. <laughs> yes, I did that. Uh, fix, I fixed res on the PC. For some reason, res on the arcade gunner uh, didn't boot. I just fixed it. It's one of my favorite games, by the way. Very relaxing. Yeah, so let's take a look at the... Full light gun, 438 games now, and all working. I'm not shy. Uh, when the game doesn't work, I remove it. Uh, last month, what I did also, I removed all the Wii, the Wii game that didn't make sense to play with a gun. So now when you jump on the light gun, every single game can be played with your retro shooter, Gunfire R, and track or the future uh, blend come. So all those games are playable with a light gun uh, game. But on my drive, if you go on the main menu, I have the main that you can play with uh, Xbox controller as an extra. Techno Pirate, full set, minus a few games that you can play with a Xbox controller. Uh, the Wii game that uh, Wii game that you can play with a real remote. Okay, people get confused about remote and uh, light gun. So if you have a remote, you can only play this section. Wii remote game. 
for all the rest on the main menu it's an xbox xbox and in the light gun even the wii this section even the wii is playable those wii you can play with your uh, retro shooter or gun for or okay you cannot play uh, my light guns uh, game with a wii mode because it's really complicated to set up all the button and it. But now it's complicated. I did test it for some reason. Maybe one day it's going to be compatible. I know there is some mod now. You can make the Wii works really good, but you need an application on the background and stuff like that. But for a regular uh, Mayflash Wii bar and a regular Wii mode, plug this with a Mayflash Wii bar. The aiming uh, suck. The aiming really, really suck. That's bad. I will try to make, a, make it work. I know on the net now they have, a, what's their name? They have some mother, they do a light gun game. And, but you need something very special running on the background. And, and a specific way to put the, uh, the lead. I don't know, I need to read more about it. But what I say is maybe one day the, you're going to be able to play all those games with a remote. Or, uh, I don't remember his name, it's on the uh, Facebook, Lunetsuk. There is a guy showing his uh, Wii Gun game and the accuracy, it's like uh, very fast. The aiming is really, really good. But first you need a modded uh, gun with a remote technology. It's a modded gun version, plus a special application running on the background to make the remote. Uh... But like I said, the regular Mi Flash USB bar with a remote, it's not great for, uh, in my experience, it's not great for, uh, to play other games than the, the, Wii, uh, the Wii game, right? Hope you make sense. So this is a big update. I did update uh, Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, PS2 are all brand new setup for better uh, HD and everything. Looks incredible. Uh, on the Techno Pirate, I forgot, but the Akuma, it's kind of new. Uh, the Walking Dead, you will have it. The Walking Dead should be there, right there. That's a new game. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, a ton of uh, game, guys. Like I said, I always work to make them better every month. If I find something on the net that, uh, oh, you can do this, do that, uh, make a game run better or uh, add new game, new emulator, I'm always willing to upgrade my drive. That's the beautiful side of buying the Beast light gun. It's just not, you're not stuck with one setup for your, all your life. You, Next month, there's going to be new game and new fix and uh, upscale. So now you can play PS2 HD, works flawless. Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, and all the, the PC game, the main, the Techno Pirate, the Beast is the best, guys. Works with the uh, Retro Shooter. The new uh, MX24 is going to work. Maybe with Memoker, we don't know. Uh, the future uh, Blendcom is going to work. It works on the, with the M tracks. Uh, Sendon is not supported because people has too many problems. Uh, yeah. So enjoy, guys. This is the update. It's available today. We are the 11th uh, of April. It's available for uh, Patreon only. If you are a Patreon, you can jump on Syncovery. Update those beautiful updates and play all those games tonight. Thanks guys for watching. Retro Beast is the best guys. Ciao.